All right, DJ Connect, what is good? My name is Andrew Lindley, representing, and today we got a little bit of another unboxing video coming in. Um, I'm sure to a lot of people out there, like this isn't a big deal, sure, SLX, um, but for people who live in Canada right now, like I don't know if you guys noticed, but there is a chip shortage going on, and it is like, it's absolutely insane. Like you're trying to get DJ gear, good luck. Um, especially up here with wireless mics, like good luck. Like you're not, you're not getting a wireless mic anywhere. Um, so just a long story short, um, it was probably like a month ago I had an event um, where finally the wireless mics that I had just, they, they cut out, like they cut out on me at the ceremony. It was super embarrassing. Like as soon as I was doing all my mic checks, like walking around everywhere, people were there, people were flooded in, um, doing all my mic checks, didn't have one single dropout. But I guess as soon as everybody sat down and they were kind of head level with um, the head unit, uh, as soon as the, the uh, officiant started speaking, just cut out, cut out. So I'm like lifting up my whole speaker system, trying to get it closer, trying to hold it up in the air and like doing all this crazy stuff. Um, and it just, it didn't work. Like luckily I had such a great um, bond with my client. They didn't care at all. They were just like, it's all good, man. Like stuff happens, it's all good. Don't worry about it. And the whole night I was stressing out, like really w worried about what they were gonna think about me. But in the end, like they left me a great review. Everything was incredible. Um, but it was enough embarrassment for me that I knew I needed a wireless mic system, like a legitimate one. This is like, I think their second um, from the top level. Um, I didn't really get to pick and decide which one I wanted because there are none anywhere like nowhere in stock you can't you can't find them they don't even exist like they even took them off the Amazon shopping store uh, and like every every one of my like DJ retailers that are out there they just like deleted them right from the list like you can't find them anywhere so I am super 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 hyped about my Shure SLX wireless microphone system let's get into this thing um, this in Canadian dollars this was I think $8.99, maybe $7.99, I'll have to confirm, I'll put it in the comments, um, but it was up there, like it was $1,000 after tax, um, so hopefully this solves all of my issues. I know that like you need a range that is for your area. Um, when I was looking, he, um, one of the guys around here said like get the 500 megahertz range, um, which this one, I think it's like 450 to, I guess we'll find out as soon as I get in here. Um, but it was close, so hopefully I have no issues. I will definitely do like a follow-up video um, later on once I've used this a lot, give you guys like an after the fact usage um, video. But I'm actually gonna like, I'll set it up. I'll go outside, like the outside of my house, across the street maybe, whatever I can make look good. Uh, and then I'll just test it with like the window blared open uh, and we can go from there. So you got like a limited warranty, uh, just a booklet. I'm not really gonna go through it. Um, uh, it shows you like how to set up all your frequencies adjusting gain. Uh, overall, I should be okay, but uh, we might have to refer back to this. There's definitely been a time that I should have looked the booklet. Um, I think it was on the uh, Cold Spark video because there's a, a power button on the remote control that I never would assume. Like as soon as you pulled the thing out, I thought it was good to go. Uh, but there was a little magic trick that I could not figure out. Uh, anyways, a little protective cover here. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be getting a waterproof like proper sealed case for this. With my cheap mics, I just brought it in the case like I didn't care, but this one I'm gonna get like a hard shell waterproof case. Like this is the real deal. This is top level stuff. Uh, you wanna treat it nicely. Like as long as you treat it well for its whole life, it's gonna treat you well. So that's all I can really say. I keep everything of mine in pristine condition uh, and it lasts forever. Uh, so you got your head unit. Um, I'll pull all these things off later. Mic, it's a SM58. This is like the uh, the go-to mic for everyone, SM58. Uh, it just feels better. A lot of people said Sennheiser, but I don't know. To me, like I love the Shure mic, like just the feeling of it, the weight. Like I, it, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Shure series. I don't really like the um, Sennheisers. Just something about it, the way they look. I'm not, I'm not a fan at all. So SM58, killer, killer mic. Uh, bag, I guess. Yeah, mic bag. Keep it safe. Uh, probably the um, the uh, receivers as well. I would assume, like the ears. Power adapter. Yeah, power adapter. 
Oh, it's got a rack mount too. So if you got a rack system, you got rack mounts. That's great. That's awesome. You you would build it into your like your DJ table or whatever you have. Uh, it would go on onto the sides. Obviously, I'll just show you. It would slide on here, uh, and then this would go into your rack mount. So it's like a unit. Uh, and then it would just be built in. So if you have a rack mount system, you'd know what I'm talking about. If you don't, uh, maybe look into a rack mount system. Uh, yeah, that's just that. We got the power adapter. Here is our uh, wireless cables. So I would assume that goes in the bag to keep them safe. Uh, I got to rip them open, so may as well. It's going into use this weekend. Give it uh, its first go. Uh, let's pull these out. Okay, and then these, they just go on the back here. It's a coaxial cable connector. Uh, so that goes on there. Uh, and that'll go to your one side. And this is the other one, still in the bag. Let's get this out. Right, these are on, these are in. Get rid of this rack here. Power supply, bracket. For your mic, this goes in here. Protective bumper, I don't know what that's about. Instruction sheet. Okay, so this is for the, the rack mount. It's just a protective case around it. It's great. Screws for the rack system. More screws. Uh, what's this? We got a, a tap here. Coax tap. I'm not sure what that's for. We will find out. Oh, these are the antennas. They're taped down. I don't want to bend these either, so I gotta keep this very safe. There we go. These are the antennas here. I'll right, get them out. You definitely do not want to bend these. Like, ah, drop them. Don't drop them either. It's good. Let's rip it open from the top this time. There we go. These are the antennas. Oh, I see. So these are the connectors to the antennas. I wonder if, I bet I can just go right onto this and I don't even need these. Okay, I'm sure that that is good enough here. Get these on. That's better. There we go. That, that looks better to me. That's good. Uh, bag. These you can just put away. I wouldn't be using these. These are more for the, definitely if you do the rack mount, uh, just to feed so you get a little more extra room. So I'm just gonna put these away. I won't be using these myself. Uh, if you are having like an issue and need to get higher, you can use those, you can like double them up, but I wouldn't be using that. I'm just gonna throw them in the bag for sure, for safe keepings. Just in case, you, you never know what's gonna happen. So the mic in here. Mic is in there. I guess we can put the mic Stand bracket, or is that too tall? Yes, probably too tall, so we don't need you in there. Uh, these are the connections if you need those, um, and it comes with batteries, and that's it. So that's good. I don't need those, don't need these. The bracket, we'll put you back in here. 
I'm sure I, one day I will have a rack mount system, but today is not the day. Power adapter comes out. Those can sit. I guess I don't need these. I'm gonna just put them away. I don't think I'm gonna need them at all. So that's that. Power adapter back in. This is all garbage here. Clean up your workspace. Don't leave a mess, man. Good there. Little plastic thing. Okay. This thing is ready to rock. Let's, uh, let's just put these pulp foam things on. Protector. You never know. You never know. One went down. It's got little screw ins right here. I don't have a screwdriver, so it's just gonna have to wait. All right, and there she is all set up. Uh, beautiful and good to go. And I'm gonna give her a test run right now. You got it out, you got your mic out, instrument out. Interesting, I bet you can plug into this with a uh, receiver if you got one. Uh, and we're gonna check this thing out. We're gonna put it to use. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, so I guess let's check everything here. We got the power adapter, we gotta take that. Power adapter comes. That's all garbage, garbage, garbage. We got our rack mounts. We're not using those right now. Uh, just connectors for the rack mounts. And then your two uh, antenna extenders. If you're gonna put, I guess if you use the rack mounts and then these would connect, uh, that would connect the connector to the longer connector. Uh, so like a, a male, female connection point. Uh, and that's it, we got everything else. Mic is in here, safe and sound. I'm pretty sure I already have one of these in my bag, so I'm just gonna put that away for now. Uh, batteries, we gotta put the batteries in. We'll do that later. Uh, yeah, let's jump over, let's jump over. Uh, what's missing here? Uh, it's gonna come in a little bit. Come on, man. Kill me. There we go. Beautiful warranty goes up here. Killing it. We're killing it out here. SLX, sure, let's go. Flip it. All right, we're back, family, and uh, I'm sorry but it's already working, like everything's good to go. We got a wireless mic in the building, sure. SLX on the SM58. That's the same mic that I would be normally using on here, but uh, I brought that out to another gig, so it is no longer with me. Uh, it's just in my bag, but uh, it, it is the one. Like that's why I, I love this mic. That's why I went with the Sure. Like everything that I normally get is Sure. Uh, I'm a big fan of Sure, like really high quality products. It's like it's the industry standard for the most part. People are always gonna say Sennheiser is the one for weddings. Um, 
to each their own. Like I just like the feeling of the Sure. To me, I'm a big fan of Sure. I'll probably end up having Sennheisers too. Like this is not knocking any company. It's just my preference. And right now, this is also the only thing that I was even able to get. And the the fact that I got this one, uh, I'm super excited about it. Um, and hopefully, you guys can hear right now extremely clear. Uh, I've been trying to be able to use the. Um, it's a combination of like the DJI mic with um with a lapel, a road lapel. Uh, but I am getting a lot of feedback and that's even with like all of the EQs off, um, everything shut down. I'm still getting some kind of feedback. Like there's a bit of a noise going on there um, and I'm not sure what or what I'm supposed to do about that. I probably need to get like um, an active, like sure headset type um, system. That's what I'm thinking. Unfortunately, it's just because there's this giant speaker right beside me. Uh, it's always going to pick up a lot of feedback, but like you can hear it right now. I'm blasting it. Uh, the booth monitor is super high. Like I could probably open the window and people could hear me out there. Uh, I wanted to actually go do a part of the video of like doing that, see how far I can get and still hear sound. Uh, but one, I'd be disrupting the neighborhood. Uh, and two, I don't have a camera guy with me. Uh, it's just me up here telling jokes like it's some kind of comedy show. So let's get back into the mic and really uh, explain a bit about it. Um, yeah, so I had to start with it on because I obviously don't have my mic here um, and I could show you that. But realistically, all there is is a power button on the microphone itself. You just hold that uh, and that turns on. Uh, and then when you go through it, you can like select your modes. You can do like a, a scan for frequency, see if there's any like any interference on any of the channels for the most part. But it came up like perfect. Uh, I scanned one time, no issues. Like everything was good to go because not too much going on inside of my house. Uh, unfortunately, you can set like specific channels. Like if you know a frequency that you want to be on, or you know that for that area. Like this is the one to use. Uh, you can go through and set it all up on this. I'm just gonna turn it around for you guys right now. Uh, I'm obviously just using just the antennas by themselves. I don't have um, the whole connector kit. Uh, that is a way that you can kind of get away with uh, cheating. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's hop into this. I don't know what else I can really talk about on this video. It sounds incredible. Like I don't want to get into the specs and stuff because I'm not like I don't know those things. Um, perfectly like I'm, I'm not a professional at knowing like the the frequency ranges that you got to be a part of and this and that uh me i just like i keep it simple like i like stuff that sounds good and works good like i keep it simple like that uh but on here all i really did i turned it on hit the same thing hit the power button you hold it uh and you're good to go um it is lit up right now but i don't think you guys are able to tell that uh it's saying ready um, and then this is the button you would just sync your mic like if you were having any intermission issues uh, You're gonna search for a frequency and then you're gonna sync it to the head unit and then you should be good um, Obviously like maybe in the future when everyone starts coming in you're gonna have that same problem where frequencies start getting uh, Busy and it's kind of like making an issue for you uh, But you would just do the same thing like we're, we're not perfect and that's something that I need to deal with as well like I'm not perfect. There's no other DJ that is perfect. And like sometimes you're going to have technical issues. Um, hopefully you've built up enough rapport with your client that like they don't really care in the end. Like, yeah, we had a bit of a cutout, this and that. Like, eh. But like when it came to it, when it was party time, you threw that party down. Like you killed the party uh, to the point where they no longer care. Like you could have butchered the ceremony uh, and they don't care because they had the night of their life. Um, that's what we need to do because as I said, we're, we're not perfect. Mistakes will happen, whether it's your fault or not. Like before, that was my fault because I had cheap mics. Uh, I was working them. They never had an issue before, but that was my first issue ever. Uh, and what's the only thing that I can do? Like I had the issue. The next step is to replace them. Just get, get brand new mics, get, get proper mics. Uh, I've made a lot of money that I can now start investing in professional uh, gear like I have like the professional tables great speakers and stuff but like when you're building a business you need to build the business like if there's something that you can cheap out on that's gonna work for you just do it like maybe you have to rent mics like maybe it's only $25 for you to go out and rent this mic from somebody in your town that's worth it like go do that 
uh, and then you just put that rental fee onto the price of the event. Like they, you, you win. You win no matter what. Uh, and when you can afford the professional stuff, then get it. That's what I recommend. Uh, there are some stuff that you don't really want to cheap out on, but there's always a way. Like, don't ever say that you don't have the money to do this because that's not true in any way. You do. You might not have the money on you right now, but there is a way that you can do this. You can go out and rent all of the speaker systems. You can rent the microphone. You can do whatever you want uh, and still make it there. Like, make it happen. Don't, don't, don't get caught up that you don't have the money right now. Like this is, in my opinion, like this is the best mic that I got, at least like this is the best one that I got. Uh, and I've been DJing for like four years. Um, I was able to make it through off like $100 mics that whole time. Um, only just now has it started to have issues. And now that there's an issue, now I fix it and I replace it. And, and what do I do with the old mics that I have? I'm just going to throw them into like a karaoke package. So like they're not wasted money either. Like people at karaoke parties at their house are not going to have issues with interference like the way we're having right here. If you're within like a 10 foot room, you're not going to have that kind of problem. And if they do, they're not going to cry because their ceremony got cut or like their, their solo cut out for a couple seconds. They're, not, they're probably not going to cry about that. So you have to think about other ways and way, like ways that you can make this happen. Don't ever get caught up saying that you can't afford this or you can't do it because you don't have the resources. It's never, never, never the resources. It's how resourceful you are. Like there's always a when you have a will, there is a way. There's always a way for you to get what you want for you to make this happen. So if you guys are like on that train while I'm going, if you guys like the fire like this and you need help building your business, trust me, I've been through all of the issues. I've done everything wrong. I've had the cheap mics. I've done whatever you can think of. I've had complaints. I've had uh, refunds just recently, actually. Like it sucks that it happened now. I never did before, but we just had our first refund. Um, but as we grow, we learn how to avoid these things, what we have to do in the future. And if you don't have someone to help you and guide you to get you there, it's going to take you a long time. Um, I've had coaches my entire life. So if you want more information about that, check out the djconnect.com. Reach out to me on Facebook. My name is Andrew DJ Cache Lindley. This is the DJ Connect. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of fire. We are just getting started. My channel is almost out of thousand subs thank you guys so much you absolutely blow my mind every time uh, i never thought in my life i would be doing something like this but hopefully i'm helping other djs because my life was changed in the past i just hope that i can help somebody else who's struggling as well so i will see you guys later like subscribe let's go boom boom boom